When I was studying in Madras, now known as Chennai, I'd go to see my teacher Desikachar three times a week if I was lucky. And I'd go and see him and he'd say, is there anything or shall we gossip? Or shall we go to the beach? And this is like a valuable hour to learn yoga with TKV Desikachar, son of Krishnamacharya. Shall we gossip or shall we go to the beach? So he was really saying that um, there should be some teaching, some exchange, if I had a serious inquiry, if there was any direction that I wanted to go in that I was interested in or some uh, interest or issue that I had with my practice or some there some philosophical matter I might have been studying at the time. And he'd say, uh, is there anything? Or shall we just hang out? And that was very much the quality of this teaching relationship. There was one that depended on the student's inquiry. In fact, that's an ultimate statement from Krishnamurti, UG. Uh, there is no need for a teaching. There is no need for a teaching because life itself is doing an amazing job. Look at you two sitting there, life itself. Where is there a question of you needing a teaching? You're good. <laughs> You're alive as life. You're the power of the cosmos. And we mean it. The way humanity has been socialized and religified we look past our own wonder to the social suggestibility of a superior state somewhere else, right? And it's dumbed down our perceptions of our own circumstance. It's, you know, this, you hear the material world. Well, I love George Harrison and his album, Living in the Material World, is completely wonderful. But it is a, an assumption of something, you know, that humanity is burdened by. That we are this meat package that you have to manipulate to get somewhere else. <laughs> you know? But what about what you are, you know? There is no need, of a, no need for a teaching. Good, thank you. Leave me alone with teachings, please. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone with patriarchy, the idea of somebody being superior to me who needs to tell me how to live my life. Right? Usually womenless men telling society how to live their lives. Right? So there's no need for a teaching and there's definitely no need for... I love this, shall we gossip, or shall we walk, shall we walk to the beach together, um, indicating equality, you know, <laughs> friends. No more than friends, no less than friends. Here is God. Requiring no looking, no seeking, no reaching for some experience or other, or some socially proposed superior state that someone is supposed to be in and you're not right? is the burden on humanity but not on you <laughs> but it's tricky because you're born into a society that has assumed this burden that is living this burden right? it has reduced the human condition to a meat package or materiality like um, Rosalind's William Blake, some see a tree as a green thing that's in the way. Others see the radiance of <laughs> the divine. The tree that moves sun to tears of joy is to others just a green thing that stands in the way. Right. Yeah. And he said a man that back then that was supposed to be a human, as a person is... So they see.